Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to Daily News, Everyday News, Breaking News on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook, our Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook group, our Prince Mila Entertainment TV. We're also available on Twitter, it's a P Mila ENT. Welcome to another edition of our Daily News, our Breaking News, Everyday News. Today is the 13th of our December 2021. So guys, here's the latest news here. And again, Sunday PF and MDCT we next year share the $500 million treasury allocated under the Political Parties Finance Act with a split based on the number of constituencies seats in the National Assembly. According to Treasury Blue Books, which goes into the ultra fine detail of how the budget is spent, qualifying political parties have been allocated $500 million with the threshold being 5% of the total votes in a general election. Only ZNPF and MDCT, led by Senator Douglas Monzola, qualify. ZNPF is set to get away with the largest share of the money given that it enjoys a comfortable two-thirds majority in the National Assembly. A rough calculation deceives that ZNPF will get almost $400 million, while MDCT will pocket at least $100 million. The Monzola lead MDCT assumed the status of official opposition after the Supreme Court nullified in a civil case the elevation of MDC Alliance leader Mr. Nelson Chamisa to the party leadership. The court had to work with the MDCT's own constitution in the civil action and found that under the party's own rules Mr. Chamisa was not the party leader. The party was told to run a proper congress under its own rules to settle its leadership and that was won by Senator Monzora who took over from Dr. Tokozan Kupe who was the interim leader following the lawsuit. The finding in a high court civil suit that the MDC alliance was simply an electoral pact, not a proper political party that had superseded the parties that formed the pact allowed the MDCT to insist that those successful legislators and councillors nominated by the MDCT in the pact list had to either accept the legal position of the MDCT or be recalled. Since then, the MDCT has been receiving the opposition share of the government funding under the Political Parties Finance Act. Government promulgated Political Parties Finance Act after it made that some opposition parties were receiving funding from foreign governments and organizations as part of COVID operations to achieve regime change. Political parties can now receive lawful funding through government grants under the Act, sale of party cards, fundraising activities, and form its members. Government has since considered the private voluntary organization amendment bill that prohibits non-government organizations from campaigning for political parties or candidates. The bill now before parliament is said to be subjected to public hearing by parliament came after it made that civil society and NGOs were being used as conduct for illegal activities uh, by some political parties and hostile foreign agencies. So guys, that's the latest here. It seems like next year, which is the uh, campaigning year, MDCT uh, Monzora will be getting $100 million uh, from the government and ZNPF itself will be getting $400 million. So which means that MDC Alliance it will need funding. And that almost a year before and we keep on talking about it because any political party that needs to campaign in order marry, in order funding. So which means that MDC Alliance supporters shall have to fund their own political party come 2022. Unless MDC Alliance in my funders one or fund or uh, that political party. So we keep you guys informed about uh, any new information uh, regarding to this or nyae mari nyae funding and guys this is a uh, daily news everyday news a uh, breaking news on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Cut it in the comment section remember guys to uh, like share and comment and turn on the notification bell so that uh, you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel each and every day each and every hour keep you guys informed and yeah so daily news breaking news everyday news on prince melanie tv let's up